Hi everybody and uh, welcome to Tying Knots. Now I'm Miriam and I'm the water advisor for Girl Guiding Shropshire but today it's all about tying knots. Now being able to tie different knots is a really useful skill not just for girl guiding but for everyday life as well. So you might think one of the first knots you learn might be to tie um, your shoes, tie a bow in your shoelace. Uh, but as you get older, you might progress to knots like square lashing, which are really useful when you're going camping, because then you can make gadgets to use that make your time at camp a little bit comfier, a little bit easier, maybe a little bit more fun as well. Now, for most of the knots that you're going to need today, all you need is something to tie with. So you might have some cord, perhaps like this. Uh, but if you don't, some string would do or some wool. You might have a skipping rope or some shoelaces. Um, one of my favourites is uh, to tie knots with strawberry laces because then you can eat them afterwards. And that's really quite good. So before you get off and get going with having a go with your knots, I'm gonna give you my top tips for how to be amazing at knot tying. So number one is persevere. Knots can be incredibly frustrating at times and the string doesn't go where you want it to and you get in such a tangle and you don't know why you're in a tangle, but persevere. Keep going, look at the instructions, ask someone to help you if you're not sure and eventually it will come good and it feels so good when you get it right. Okay, tip number two. Once you've got it right, try it again, because that will help it stick in your memory for being able to get it good next time. OK, and number three, if you're tying a knot which only needs the ends of your rope, put your rope or your string around your leg or around a pillow or a small cardboard box or something. And then you've got something to pull against to do your knotting. And the middle of the rope isn't getting in the way then gives you something to tension it against um, to get a good firm knot there. Okay, good luck and enjoy your weekend of activities. Bye. This time we're gonna be looking at how to tie a bedding while using a packer's knot. So I've started off by laying out my bedding and then rolling it up into a nice uh, firm shape. Then we take the ground sheet and really carefully matching up both sides we're going to roll that top down, keeping it as snug as we can. Okay, make sure there's no slack left in there. Okay. Then we have to roll the ends in. So again, let's get out the slack that we can and roll it in nice and tidy. It's easier to do this if you've got someone else to help you. And the other side round here. So that is our bedding roll that we're going to tie up now with the packer's knot. So the start of the packer's knot is to have a figure of eight there and we thread the other end of our rope through one of the loops, loops on our figure of eight and that will then slide through. So I'm going to make the loop about the same size as my bedding roll and slip it over the end so it goes around the middle. Once it's around the middle I can tighten it up so it's nice and firm. We then bring the end over one of our rolled ends and we're going to tuck it under that middle loop that we put around first. Pull all the slack through and that fixes that side uh, rope in so it's not going to slide around. I'm going to turn the bedding roll back over now and have a look at this end over here. So I did roll it earlier, but it's come undone. So I'm going to roll it up again, nice and tight. And that means that by rolling it, should it be really rainy on my way to camp, no water will be able to sneak in. Now bring the rope round there, keeping it tense and tight all the time. And I'm going to pass it under this side line here. It's then going to come over the top of this one here where we started to go around the edge and tuck it underneath and through this loop that we've made here. Okay, and then pull that nice and tight and I've got a half hitch and I'm going to do that again on this line here. 
make a loop, tuck it under and through. And that gives us that half hitch which just holds the whole lot in place. And there you have it, one packer's knot. So figure of eight here, we're going to start with our cord straight in front of us and make a loop towards the top of the cord with the tail coming out at the side. We're then going to take this tail and tuck it under the main line so we've got a bit of an eight shape there and then the tail comes back up and through the loop at the top and we pull it tight so we have that figure of eight. pole hitch here then so to start that we make a long narrow s shape with our thread or cord and then the items that you're tying up so sticks or tent poles are going to go vertically along that s so then we get the end of the s and we thread it through the loop opposite and the same on the other side end through the loop and pull them oops, pull them in opposite directions to get them nice and tight. Okay, and once they're tight, you can tie them up in a reef knot. And that will hold firm. If you have a longer set of poles, then you'd want to have two or three of these spaced along to hold them secure. 